Boom, we're back with another one. So this, you know, today's lecture is a very somber lecture. Uh, we're going to be talking about health, and uh, there's a bunch of turntablists that have just, you know, all gone through a lot of serious health issues, and um, we're going to be talking about today about Shortcut from the Invisible Scratch Pickles, as well as Joe Cooley, and also Presto One, my homie from Atlanta. Um, so, you know, so we're going to start with Shortcut. And we're going to uh, read this. So it says, if there's anything you'd like to direct to Shortcut, please send it to this. And he will make sure it reaches his immediate family. Thank you. Sincere thanks and love to everyone who reposted our health announcement today, shared posts, and showed love for Shortcut. We understand it was a shock to everyone and appreciate all the inquiries for support. He definitely felt all the love and wants everyone to know that he is deeply touched by your messages. They are providing him with strength. His cognitive development is improving daily and his motor skills are steadily progressing. We will relay more updates as the day progresses. Just a reminder, his doctors and family request he focuses 100% on his recovery. If there's anything you'd like to direct to Shortcut, please DM me and I will forward you if, um, and I will forward it to his immediate family. Once again, thank you for everyone uh, for your love and well wishes. God bless. Okay, so, um, so you know he's best known for his you know juggling patterns. I guess with the art of noise, you know he's you know one of the the illest turntablists of all times. You know his you know nobody can beat his his super fast stabs. Uh, he's also known for that. Um, so yeah, shout out to to Shortcut, and we're, we're just gonna be going into his Instagram too. Uh, Pickles have posted some cool videos and and things like that, um, but let's scroll down a little bit more so we can see. Um, it says health update and shortcut to all the fans and friends. Jonathan Cruz, aka DJ Sh Shortcut, we want to inform you that Shortcut has been hospitalized due to due to a serious health incident. He is currently in stable condition and receiving excellent care. Um, and also, you know, shout out to the homie Eddie Mariano because you know he's been dealing with health issues as well. And we're also going to, you know, just talk about um, health in general and turntablism because um, as we see a lot of turntablists are dealing with health issues. And uh, so, yeah, um, so we're going to be going over, you know, Joe Cooley as well and, and Presto One, um, as well as a, a tableist lounge member who just passed away. Um, so, yeah, so I so this was three days ago. I adore this woman with every everything in me for going above and beyond for loving me and taking care of me and she does I don't even know where to start to express my gratitude to you baby love you so much all right so he's uh, hospitalized now let's let's see what was happening before this let's see Let me turn the uh, okay so he was touring right so yeah they, they just got out I believe they've been doing a tour you know they're doing pickles tours but they're also doing like technology tours with their new app with I believe I believe uh, they might have a contract with uh, the algorithm the DJ algorithm app uh, since they're kind of you know competing with Serato now and I think that's great for you know Serato to have more competition because it's kind of been a monopoly for a long time uh, I'm not hearing anything let's see in here we're at the Hollywood Bowl let me run it back So we can see that, you know, he was on tour doing all this stuff and you know, tour can be exhausting and also, you know, um, the different types of foods on tour can be uh, draining too because if you're like going, you know, you might not be getting water and you, know, you might have to eat some airport food. What up, y'all? All right, so we're going to pause that and we're going to go to the next um, next thing. All right, so now we're going to uh, go through some of these. We're going to start uh, a little bit farther back. So after we do um, Shortcut, then we'll move on to Joe Cooley. Um, so let's click right here. All right, you can see, you know, everybody's sending their condolences and, and things like that. Um, it looks like they're at the hospital in this picture. Possibly. Um, all right, so let's move on. To, let's go to the next thing. So, yeah, we just read this. We just read this. Um, that he's been hospitalized. 
right? And uh, so and me and Short always have a really, really good time when we play together. We have played together a million times in San Fran. It's, and it's funny because it's almost like every time that they put us on the bill, we just kind of take over and be like, we're going to play together. Yeah. And we just rock out. So the two by four sessions. It might it might be some of that tonight. Yeah. I think it's gonna be some of that tonight. Yeah. Because no. um, because we have a good time. So you mean and show. And also, I want to note that you know, because I was talking about his you know famous juggle patterns, like with the art of noise stuff, um, like his walking the beat stuff, and you know, those patterns. But also, you know, he's also best known for um, his uh, you know remarkable the, the whole uh, triple threat thing that, that, that they were doing and uh you know just being able to take uh keep the party going and you know and and just you know keeping it on the trick mixing level and just and, and uh just killing it with with trick mixing all right all right so let's uh, go to the next all right so all right now let's move on so he's you know recovering and it seems like it, you know could have something to do you know with uh um you know, some type of, uh, whether it's heart or brain issue, because they said that the, his motor skills are recovering. So, you know, it seems like maybe he had a stroke. We don't know if it's a stroke or we don't know if it's um, um, heart issues or anything like that, because both heart issues and, and, a, and, a, and a stroke could, uh, you know, affect your motor skills. Uh, my mom was just dealing with, you know, a lot of heart issues and, and things like that. But um, yeah, so it's very, very sad, but he's recovering. Now we're going to move on to uh, Joe Cooley, the, you know, the, um, w one of the, the, the greatest scratch DJs of all times. Um, and he says, I'm home where I need to be. So um, uh, he took down his hospital stuff. You know, he's doing better now. He's, he's back at home. He's scratching again, uh, which is great. So he's, um, he's back from the hospital. You know, he never really told anybody what, what he was in the hospital for. But, you know, um, you know, we, we've been praying for him. And actually this weekend when I was scratching with the San Diego people, I was doing a bunch of cool, Joe Cooley scratches, you know, because he was in the hospital at that time. on uh, This was like Saturday. And, um, you know, so I was kind of doing some, dropping some, some Joe Cooleys in, 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 uh, to shout him out or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's a very sad thing because, you know, a lot of us turntablists are, you know, a much older generation. Uh, and... You know, when, uh, you know, you get older, like when you're in your 20s and 30s, you could pretty much do whatever you want. You know, like you could be eating donuts and do this and whatever, you know, but then by the time you get to your 30s, you know, um, you know, you can't just eat whatever you want, but you can still kind of get away with a lot of stuff in your 30s. But then, you know, I'm 45 years old, but by the time you hit 40, that's when, you know, if you're not eating healthy, you know, it, the um, science starts to catch up on you and we're going to be talking about you know health science out here because y'all know i'm a vegan and you know i don't i don't push you know vegan uh stuff down people's throats or anything like that i usually never talk about it unless people ask me about it at the table or something like that like oh why you know why don't you eat that or you know thanksgiving or something it's like hey why why aren't you eating the turkey type of a thing you know and then and then i'll tell people but you know um but for me you know um on my dad's side of the family obesity is a really big thing on my dad's side and um not the men but the women and you know they've all passed away from heart disease even on my mom's side you know heart disease and, and all that type of thing and all these are complications due to diet you know and uh me and uh um eddie were talking in the past eddie Mar mariano because you know he's been dealing with health issues as well maybe i believe heart issues as well um, possibly and and um, you know I was just talking about uh, the, the Filipino diet because you know uh, Roly Roll, you know my homie Roly Roll is uh, you know dealing with a lot of extreme diabetes and just got his you know leg amputated, um, and even my 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 homie Cutting Candy, you know Cutting Candy, um, um, you know she's been uh, getting much healthier over the years, but she's definitely got a lot of heart conditions. And all this points to the um, the Spanish colonial diet that was brought to the Philippines, you know, by uh, the Spaniards, and it's not native to the actual Philippine Philippines. They weren't eating all that stuff, you know, all the fried food and all that type of stuff before those Spaniards arrived. And and part of colonialism is also the diet, you know, because when you they say in warfare when you control somebody's food, you also control somebody's, um, you know, you can control the population. You know, if you cut their water. They're going to be dependent on you or if you you know 
that type of thing. And now these corporations kind of, you know, prey on people and they know the effects of what the foods are going to do and they know what the remedies are and they know how long, uh, you know, they know the, the, the lifespans of people and they calculate all these things. And it's, you know, it's really scary how, you know, corporations can, you know, put poisons out there in foods and still, you know, hedge themselves and, and, and own the hospitals that are treating the people that are, you know, and then these hospitals are giving people bacon in the, in the hospitals. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen bacon on menus. It's like, if you're, you know, my mom, the last time my mom was in the hospital, you know, she just had a, um, uh, what do you call it, a, 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 a jab-related um, blood clot after her surgery. And, uh, you know, they, were, they, they, they gave her, like, a big hamburger. You know, she just, she's in there for a heart condition, a blood clot in her legs and, and heart and stuff, and they gave her a big, giant hamburger, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like a big giant hamburger and some eggs, you know, like some eggs for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're obviously not trying to help people because it's like if you're a graphic designer and you don't start to work on your project, it's not going to get done by itself. But with medicine, your body is actually healing itself. So the hospital is actually generally not even healing you. The, the, the hospital and I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just talking about, you know, my feelings. I'm saying that the human body heals itself. And, you know, most professions, it doesn't work out like that. Like if you're, a, um, you know, like I was saying before, if you're an accountant, you know, yeah, you could use a AI or QuickBooks or something, but all your work is not going to um, work out itself. But within the medicine industry, you know, patients recover on their own and, and hospitals can actually keep patients in there longer by, you know, giving my mom a, you know, uh, what do you call it, giving her scrambled eggs and a hamburger to eat you know it's like why would you give that to somebody that has a heart condition you know what i'm saying it's, it's there's not a lot of uh you know transparency in, in these industries but you know i'll move on from that um so yeah joe cooley's doing better i want i want y'all to see um you know that he's still keeping his cuts sharp you know because we're always talking about sharpness of cuts and, and things like that um but yeah you know he's still he's still killing it he, he's doing a recording right here of his famous scratch i want y'all to hear it it's very very important for, pe for people to know the history. Let's see, what's going on, where's the volume? I don't hear the volume, let's see. I don't see the little volume symbol, right? It's usually a little volume symbol. There's one up here, what if I turn it on? Okay, there we go, it was just high up, I didn't see it. He's, uh, he's recovering, it's good, he's, you know, he's out the hospital, he's back, you know what I'm saying, hopefully we'll see Shortcut, uh, you know, doing something like this very soon, uh, let's, let's go to the next, let's go over here, alright, so, um, now, we're, now we're gonna be, you know, so we're sending prayers out to everybody, to, to, to Shortcut, sending prayers out to Joe Cooley, and also sending prayers out to Presto One, and, you know, so shout out to, to DJ Presto One, you know, and what's interesting, too, is that these are all turntablists that are, you know, super ill scratchers, you know what I'm saying? Super ill, fast, electro scratchers, you know, um, dealing with these issues. Um, so, yeah, so let's let's go back to here. So, yeah, Presto just got out of the hospital as well. Um, let's uh, let's click on this right here. Let's see, those, those are pin. I think that's from years ago. Let's go right back to here. Let's uh, unmute this. One, two. How's it going, everybody? Another update. Um, I finally got discharged yesterday. So I'm back home now. 
so in pretty much a week <laughs> this is nuts pretty much a week I'm back at home recovering in my studio and I managed to even bang out a track and um again want to say thank you to everybody it's it's um you know, it feels good it feels good to be loved thank you and um yeah <laughs> He said post op update, post operation update. Back home and recovering. I was discharged from the hospital yesterday, 62624, and now back in the studio. To be honest, it must uh, it, mu it must be the Holy Spirit guiding me because how do I get from getting cut open from a 10 hour open heart surgery and back home cutting it up in the lab in under a week? The doctors and nurses were bugging on how fast I was bouncing back. Don't get it twisted. Still lots of work, but I'm inspired with everything. God gave me another shot, and I'm taking it. That's that's really great. You know what I'm saying? To see to see that he's recovering. Um, you know, we go way all the way back to the '90s in Atlanta. You know, we we uh, we both got inspired by DMC videos. You know, and, and um, he was over my house, and I was showing him the '93 uh, DMC, and I believe the '96 uh, DMC. And he was like, yo, let me buy that off you. You know what I'm saying? Because back then it was like, you know, we didn't have, you know, the internet and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, so it was like, you know, we had to circulate the tapes. And it was like, you know, if you wanted to know how to juggle, you had to, you know, buy a, buy a tape. You had to see a competition. You had to, you know, start rewinding it a million times. But, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go back. Check one, two. I'm alive. And today's my birthday. And what a great way to celebrate a birthday. And to be alive. Amen. God is great. And that means I'm still here. And I just turned 46. And this is my fifth surgery. Ain't that something? Recovery's going smooth. Um, and things are moving along. I just, uh, All right, so yeah, he's he's 46. He's about the same age as me. I'm 45. You know, also, you know, shout out to his sister, Carrie. Um, I used to date her friend, actually, back in the day, Tosca in high school. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, so let me uh, uh, go to the next. But, yeah, he's he's recovered. He's back. I mean, uh, you know, he's he's back in the studio, so that's you know really really wonderful that he's uh, that he's back, back in business. Um, let's see this last one right here. Um. Good morning, everyone. Well, uh, it's go time. I haven't really let the cat out the bag with, you know, I've been offline and stuff like that. But all my close friends and family know, uh, it's round two. Meaning, I'm going in for open heart surgery today. And I know maybe some of you who know my journey are like, again? Yep. Uh, I'm four years ahead of schedule. Didn't really plan on that. I really wasn't supposed to have this operation until about, you know, four or five years from now. But um, the valve's gone bad, so I got to go back in. And um, I guess I just need everyone's prayers. And support, you know, uh, keep your boy in your thoughts. Going in, open heart surgery, round two. Keep you guys posted. 
And the great thing is, is, you know, he's been able to cover so fast. You know, he's, he's a very healthy person, you know, working out all the time. So I think that's also part of the recovery, you know, because it's, you know, people that are already, uh, you know, in better physical shape can recover quicker than people that aren't, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the turntablists out there, you know, um, you know, it's good to keep, keep those push-ups, you know, rolling and, and all that type of stuff and, and, and uh, you know, keep your body, you know, um, up to speed with, with everything, you know, just, just like we're practicing our cuts, we got to, you know, focus and practice on our health as well. Um, so yeah, so, you know, big super shout out and, uh, prayers to him. Now, uh, you know, shout out to all the turntables, I mean, uh, the Tableless Lounge LA and Tableless Lounge San Diego people that I just scratched with, uh, this past weekend. We're going to upload those, those videos on YouTube, uh, cause you know, on Instagram, it's like turned the wrong way, you know, cause I was getting the whole, uh, sideways view of it. But, um, yeah, so this is. Rest in peace to DJ Merc One. Tw oh, I'm sorry, Merc Twelve Hundred. Rest in peace to DJ Merc Twelve Hundred. Um, and uh, yeah, he was part of the the, the Tableless Lounge crew. This is Tableless Lounge at uh, uh, LA's shouting him out. And uh, he, you know, just really getting to be able to cut with these guys was a you know really great experience. So I want to send a, you know another super big shout out to the um, you know the whole Tableless Lounge crew. But yeah, as turntablists, you know, we're getting older and we have to, um, you know, really treat our, treat our bodies well. And, um, you know, so, um, you know, for me, um, I've had a lot of people in my family, uh, you know, just uh, deal, deal, die from uh, whether it's drug abuse or, you know, food, you know, it's either food or drugs and things like that, um, you know, so... Uh, you know, I just want to put that out there and just, you know, prayers for everybody that's still also sick, you know, so short for shortcut and, and, and really roly roll too. I'm really, really worried about roly roll. Um, but, you know, uh, he's, he seems to be, you know, back in the studio and stuff. Um, so, yeah, blessings to, to all these cats and, and uh, turntablists. And also, if you can, uh, you know, pray for my family as well. I just got assaulted actually by my stepdad. Um, but, yeah, he got you know, his battery charge, um, and I got a restraining order against him, you know, um, so yeah, a lot of crazy things are happening these times, and, you know, just keep safe, all right, peace, y'all.